Hi guys, Kazi here from Cape Town. How are you doing? You got some more from Zor. Yeah, now I'm actually going to review something which I got quite a while back, but out of stupidity, I actually had to order a part for it. So I only have got the chance to review it now. And I thought I'm definitely going to do a review because I mean, I've tested it for two days now and I'm so impressed that whether belated or not, this little guy does deserve a decent review. All right, and this is the 22 millimeter Hadley RDA from Cyclone Mods. So yeah, so I'm going to tell you what happened. That little pin, um, I lost it. When I first time received this uh, RDA, <clears throat> I was so excited that I immediately decided to go and wash the guy in the basin. But yeah, as soon as I removed the 510 pin, that little insulator on the inside of the bottom actually came loose I always thought it was attached it was permanently there but it was not and it fell down the wash basin and I couldn't get it again so I actually went online actually went to Cyclone Mods website in the USA and ordered myself the insulator kit so yeah long last I received it about two days ago installed it and boom Bob's your uncle so yeah this is the packaging what's going to keep me busy today is the twins there they are yeah 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 all right, this one. Mm -hmm. Got some of that grape juice. There's a little label. I think it's very cute. In any case, so what I'm vaping is a bit of a grape candy. I call it Groot. But yeah, um, it's going to be tested still. And uh, uh, maybe I'm going to co uh, collab with somebody on a specific juice. So yeah, interesting times. The other one is obviously the Squonka. So the reason why I got this is to install or use the squonker pin and place it on top of my regulated Therion. Cool beans. So yeah, let's go down and have a look at what is inside this little beauty. All right. All right, guys, here's the box, a little plastic tubing which you've got over there. If you remove the cap, that is what you're going to receive when you actually buy this guy. There's the little beauty. All right. Absolutely lovely. Okay, there's some Hadley itching at the bottom over there, and there's a serial number as well, cool beans. There you can see the bottom feeding pin, which I actually installed already. But yeah, otherwise, which is also inside of here, is a little bag. Now, they have already got my little second part of the insulation kit, which you obviously will not get. But this is inside of mine. What you are going to get is you're going to get some O-rings, obviously, there. You're going to get two small little post screws right and then you're also going to get a center screw 510 screw which is there okay if you in case you do not use the bottom feeding screw okay so there are all the different parts so this is inside the little baggie which i also got as an extra is this ultim cap one piece which you get which you can also put on all right nice holes for the l's so i'm just going to put this inside i'm not going to use that at the moment but yeah you got some nice accessories for this little guy sweet let's put that guy back now we are interested in this sweetness all right so the building which i'm with which i decided on my previous video i made a build on a framed staple wire and um decided that's the wire which i want to make for this and there's a little coil which i made just look at that oh my word look at that that is so nice sweet potato Okay, so what I've actually got inside over here, I decided to use f uh, six point three by point one millimeter ribbons, and then I boarded it with two two twenty eight gauge stainless steels, and then I clapped it with thirty eight gauge, and then it looks like this. It is absolutely, I think, a fantastic coil specifically for this little guy. Sweet. If we have a look at this guy as it is over here. Um, stainless steel 100% bulk quality fantastic I love it I think it is absolutely great you have got your four little air holes um, there that side and then if you turn it around that side again all right when I saw this little guy in the beginning um, I thought the airflow was going to be restricted 
because I mean the the holes are very small, but it's actually very deceiving. I mean the two days which I've been using this, um, the airflow was actually fantastic. It was um, it was still restricted, obviously a lot more than what you would get on RDAs like the Mad Dog or the Goon or the Cosmonaut or the Armageddon. But I mean, I wanted something with a bit more restriction, and this one actually provided me more airflow than I was thinking. This little guy is going to get. All right, you've also got your little black dowel ring drip tip, which is there. But what is nice is is a standard 510, so you can actually remove it and put on a different 510 as you wish. Nice and standard. All right, so cool. But I, I'm specially going to get some made for this little Hadley by my mate hands which is the expert in tip making but yeah so there you've got that little black black ring so you've got that as well um what is also in the little bag which i actually forgot was a spare pair spare clamp all right so let's open up this little beauty and actually see what this 22 millimeter stainless steel flavor chasing junior cloud producing rda is actually gonna, gonna be like on the inside okay so guys if we open it up over there just going to get it to that nice distance it should be nice and big enough then you will see you've got some beautiful peak insulation running over there great stuff um, then if I remove this bottom feeding pin there you'll see right around the side there's another insulator peak insulation insulator which sits over there and when I switched these pins from the standard one to the bottom feeding one that one actually came loose and that's a small little guy that actually went down the basin so just be very much careful for, of that all right there's the airflow flow which we're talking about over there the airflow holes on the inside the other two and you can actually see they're much closer to one another than those which is on the outside that's why it said actually runs skew into a v all right to actually fall perfectly onto those coils okay you got some nice big flatted screws okay it's slightly slanted in the front over there so yeah, and that makes it much easy to put in the coils from that side. Okay, so there you have it. Um, I think it's an absolutely amazing single coil um, Atty, this guy. All right, beautiful, beautiful builds in the inside there. I had a three millimeter um, coil inside, but I thought, ah, that's a bit of an understatement. This little guy actually needs to be pushed a bit there. So what I did then is I made this, as I said, this frame staple I made specially and the diameter is 3.5 and actually found that to be really fantastic for this guy okay and it's just five wraps it's the one which i did okay and i got amazing flavor from this and i got amazing cloud production from this which you will see afterwards if i actually show you if i can measure the depth of the juice wall let's quickly see over there And there you go 6.13 millimeters so you've got a six millimeter deep juice well definitely not that shabby guys not too bad at all so it's very nice and that's the reason why i actually thought this guy would work exceptionally well for a um, bottom bottom feeding atty cool okay guys if you do a build inside there these flathead screws okay the two of them um just don't loosen them too much though because they they're fairly shallow but it's because they don't need to be that high Done and dusted. Klaar vir die man gekoil en gewik. Ons tom gekatoen. Alright. Putting on the top cap over there. You actually saw that. Mm, mm, mm. Look at that. Mm, mm, mm. Nice, nice, nice. Give it a bit of a squonk. Just to see if it saturates. How nicely the squonk actually works. Yeah, man. Squonk works like a bomb. Let's quickly clean this a bit. 
Well, most, most a bit of a juice. Oké, okay, maak een klein beetje schoon voor mama in kom in die kamer en voor my pak slaag in. Eh. Mam likes ze niet in, nie in tidy setup. Sweet, top cap, there you go, over the airflow. En Bob's your uncle. Let's test it, let's test it guys. Oké, okay. skonker, nice setup over there in de skonker. You see a little battery over there and you see a little bottle over there. And what I got inside is obviously a bit of my... Applebee. That is what inside this little beast. <laughs> now if if you say there's guys that actually said that this guy doesn't produce enough clouds. Guys remember, oh my word, you bought this as a as a, a squonking or it's a mini it's a twenty two millimeter. Do not expect to win cloud competitions with this. But I'm happy. I'm very much happy. Oh, just look at my new toy. Ooh, just love this little guy. Ah, so much nice. It's going to make life so much easier for me. All right. I will also post a picture. I'll just do it now so you can see the dimensions of the various stuff which I did. There. But in case you guys want to make some custom tips for yourself, just for interest sake, I'm starting to do that there. As soon as I find a atty which do not have the normal dimensions of your goon, for instance, of a normal standard 510 tip, then or a Kennedy style tip, then I will do dimensions for it and I will post it in ESIG SA forums. All right, so that um, you have got that for whatever reason you would actually want that. But all right, I'm just going to sit back a bit there so you can actually check out the cloud on this guy. <laughs> nou ja, daar is wolken papa, dit is kinema limbus wolken I mean it's coming in, the reason why I love this build, this uh, frame staple build, is because um, it comes in at a fantastic 0.25 ohms, and as you said, I think it delivers amazing flavor. Um, <laughs> I, can't, I can't fault this. The only reason, well, the only thing which I can actually say is it's exp it's expensive. That is, there's a deer, there's a deer in a gear, you The other thing which I actually love about this is the, the tips, except that it's 510. I see there's a website, they call it Chameleon Tips, Hadley Chameleon Tips. But it actually goes around it so that your tips, when it finishes, when it sits on top of this, it actually looks like a goon tip, right? Which I think is very much nice. But, uh, I've got a friend, and some of you have got a friend. His name is Hans. I sent him all the dimensions of this, and he's going to try and build us those tips. So that is good news for all of you Hadley guys out there. Um, there, there is a salvation coming. We don't have to go and pay 500 bucks for this tip or 400 bucks for it. But I mean, concerning this guy. If you got the money, come buy it. All right. So the question is: Is it a zuma? Nah, it's it's not a zuma. It's not a zuma. Is it a Mister A Julius? Nah, nah, it's not a Julius. It's not a Julius. So who can it be, Mister Kaiser? There you go. There you go. This guy is most certainly worth a Nelson. Most certainly. It is quality. It is great cloud production. Not competition clouds. But if you like clouds, you like great flavor. What do you want more than that? I'm <laughs> vaping it, guys. I'm vaping it at 37 watts. At 37 watts, and this guy's giving those clouds. Okay, so just for the fun of it, let's just push it up to 75 watts. 
because we can. Oh my word. There you go. 75. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's give it a squonk. There's nothing so slacks as a woestain stick. And that's a dried. Check this out. <laughs> Phenomenal. I love it. I dare you to go and try and do that. Just do that. Staple frame build. Go check out my, my previous video. Go build that thing for yourself. Or even buy it. If you don't want to build it, buy it. Five wraps. Should come in at 0 0.25 ohms. Put it inside this little beauty of a RDA. 22 mils. And I think it looks absolutely classy on top of this guy. And guys it's got it's got very nice flavor it has got better than very nice it has got great flavor so yeah the hadley totally an a plus from me ek love hierdie ding stikkend ek dink is baie kwai so yeah they want to talk too much afrikaans i hear there's a guy that actually wants to do an afrikaans uh, channel vaping channel which i think is a great idea but yeah enjoy the rest of your weekend this is kaiser over and out cheers uh.